Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadow Dogs number one bot built for theme partners and welcome to a Halloween update. Now you're probably thinking, yes, it's the 13 hat. Uh, <laughs> I just found it actually. Um, I'm, it's actually ironic that I'm wearing this uh, because of course today it is officially the anniversary of the 40th anniversary of Alton Towers. This is Corkscrew's successor. Corkscrew opened 40 years ago today. I remember that final ride on the final day of operation in 2008. Oh, so clearly. Um, such an iconic ride to get. Such an iconic credit to get. Um, and I've loved every minute of the Corkscrew. I love every minute of 13 as well. So that's kind of where, again, I'm wearing the hat. But today is also ironic because today's Halloween update is all about Alton Towers. And this is all about, specifically, Alton Towers Scarefest. Now, there was a news article that I saw. Now, it was first talked about on a forum way back at the end of February. So it's quite a long time away. And basically, I wanted to sort of accumulate my thoughts about this. So... This was via a news source. I'm going to put the news source in the description down below. Uh, but they, basically, this whole story involves the Alton Towers Gardens. Now, if, and only if, fingers crossed if this virus calms down, Alton Towers opens in the summer, uh, well, uh, well, hopefully, well, definitely, I'm going to get down there. But I would like to do like a, a historic piece to camera walking through the gardens do a bit of the history of Alton Towers and release that in a separate video. That's one of my summer plans if this virus calms down. Uh, so with the gardens then, uh, there was a news source from Stoke Sentinel. Now we don't know if this is leaked or rumours or anything like that or just media reports. We don't know if this is true or not. But it said in there on the Halloween section of the events of the 10 Amazing Events article that Stoke Sentinel reported. It said Halloween, Scarefest returns with mazes, family entertainment, rides in the dark, and new for 2020, experience the historic gardens in a whole new light. Now, that sentence there, historic, experience the historic gardens in a whole new light. Now, with this being under the Halloween setting, I thought it'd be a good place to discuss my thoughts and opinions as to what it could mean. Now, of course, the Alton Towers gardens haven't really been used for Scarefest yet. It's always been uh, buildings for mazes or scare zones in alleyways like we did with the zombie scare zone in Forbidden Valley. Um, but it's always been mazes and just like entertainment shows like the show building. Well, I wouldn't say show building, but like an arena sort of area in Fountain Square near Hex uh, for the last couple of years for a, for a, freak, for a, uh, for a Halloween freaky fun time kind of show. Um, Albert Doll's Farmyard before it was CBBS Land, that was home to some great Halloween entertainment. Uh, but there's never really been anything in the gardens. Now, I think it would be very good, pers uh, first of all, discussing my thoughts on this, if it is true, I think it would be good to have something Halloween related in the gardens, especially with it being Alton Tower's 40th anniversary. And I think with the gardens being such a historic part uh, and a nostalgic part of Alton Tower's history, I think the gardens is a great way to utilise the Halloween event for the 40th anniversary. Uh, now, of course, since it's the 40th anniversary, it's officially today you know we're not at the park to celebrate because of the coronavirus pandemic so you know we're sort of us enthusiasts are having to celebrate you know like i'm doing with the 13 hat but we're having to celebrate ourselves i guess uh so i am i posted something on instagram about my last ride with the corkscrew uh things like that but the gardens are such a historic part of the last 40 years of Alton Towers. So I think it would be, it was it was sort of, I was sort of waiting for this to happen. I was sort of waiting for the opportunity to arise where the gardens get used for Scarefest. Uh, I was waiting for it to happen because I think the gardens are a historic part of the, of the theme park and the resort. Uh, and I think that the gardens would be an integral part of the Halloween season as well. Now begs the question, what can they use it for? Now, of course, we talked about on their mazes, entertainment, family fun. Um, there's a few different routes Alton Towers could go down. The first route, in my opinion, which I think would be a great way to utilise it, is a family-friendly themed haunted walk. Now, this is taking nothing away from Haunted Hollow. This is taking nothing away from that. But I'd like to see actors up and down those gardens making it 
uh, like a haunted garden. So you get the ghosts and the spirits and you sort of maybe utilise the Alton Ancestors to its perspective and get the Alton Ancestors involved in the gardens and uh, you do your show on Tower Street and then from a specific time limit you get the, the spirits walking around the gardens and um, you know, that kind of thing. So I'd like to see something like that being done. Another thing I'd like to see being done is a scare zone to utilise just one route of the garden. So if you don't want to go down the scare zone path, you take a different route around the gardens and you sort of um, you sort of go around a different way, I guess. But I'd like to see them use at least one route through the gardens as a scare zone, just to add that little bit of Halloween touch to the gardens. Another thing they could do is just plant loads and loads of Halloween theming around. Now... This is taking nothing away from the vintage, nostalgic, architectural gardens. This is taking nothing away from that. But I'd like to see maybe some orange lighting or maybe a few pumpkins here and there. Um, maybe some, uh, maybe it's like some mini speakers playing some like Halloween music around the gardens just to make it a bit more eerie. So I think that's three different routes you could go down. So... It, either you could go the small level, where you do the theming, lighting, music routes, just to make it a bit more Halloween-y feel. You could go one step further, and you can do one route, which is like a scare zone. Or you can go full out and use the whole garden as a sort of scare zone, haunted, family-friendly walk path. With spirit actors walking around the entire gardens and sort of doing that for a specific time limit. So from a specific time right up until uh, the end of Scarefest. And I think that would be a good route to go down if you wanted to go to the full extreme with this. Because you could, like I said, you can utilise the old Nancys. They could do their uh, show every half an hour for like the first hour or two on Tower Street. Go down to Gloomy Ward at a different time compared to previous years. And you can use a few hours for the Alton Ancestors to walk around. And then the Alton Ancestors go to Gloomy Ward. And you sort of get these other spirit actors coming out. Now, you guys are probably thinking, hang on. If we can get spirit actors to come out, how are they going to get changed into their costume? How are they going to walk around the park? I think a nice little ceremony at the start of the gardens. Like at the, like the opening... Because there's a, there's a couple of entrances to the gardens, isn't there? There's the one um, sort of around the Forbidden Valley area, but there's also one, obviously, the path leads to Dark Forest, etc. But there's always the other entrance to the other side. So there is multi there's more than one entrance. There's multiple entrances to the gardens. So I'd like to see maybe one spirit uh, sort of round there scaring people as they walk past. And maybe do like a nice serif, like they get a specific time limit where they could start the garden experience. And you get these actors at each end of the garden sort of doing like a bit of an opening ceremony at the, at the, at the right time. So I think there's a real possibility here to utilise the gardens to a real eerie perspective. Uh, so there we go then guys. So like we said, this is nothing concrete. This is just reported by one source. Again, description down below. Uh, but I think it would be a great way to utilise the gardens during Halloween. I think that sentence, historic gardens in a whole new light, I think it could be something very exciting. It might be something a little less than what people are expecting, but I think either way, it's nice to see them rumouredly using the gardens to the Scarefest advantage. Uh, so it's nice to get some Scarefest news every now and then. Uh, and I can't wait, I cannot wait to see what's going to happen with these gardens, if it comes true or not. So, like we said, this is just a, re a report from one source. Things can change over time. Uh, the park obviously need to confirm it. Uh, but I think when the park does confirm it, I think it will be a great addition to the resort for Halloween 2020, for Scarefest 2020. So thank you very much for watching this Halloween update from the Alton Towers Scarefest event. Don't forget, guys, there are more Halloween updates coming in the next few weeks. We're going to be doing the uh, what we did last year with the what could the parks add or change for the Halloween events. We've got ones planned for Scarefest, Chessington Halloween, Thought Park Fright Nights, York Mace Hallow Scream, uh, Tully Shocktoberfest, the fi that's, that's the five big ones. And then we might do some other videos for what they could add or change to all the Halloween events. And sort of the main aspects of that, for those of you who don't know those type of videos, is basically um, finding what Halloween maze themes they haven't used yet or we haven't seen in a long time and maybe they could use it into a new light and sort of do some research on technologies. 
um, different scare factors, what's popular in the scare industry right now, and sort of what they could utilize to their advantage. We might expand that little section of videos for the Halloween updates this year, uh, and do some for, for Halloween Horror Nights, for other uh, European events, American events, Asian events. We might expand it worldwide and sort of talk about what Halloween events around the world, not just the UK, could add or change for this year's events. So, I think Hallow I think with the virus going on, I think Halloween is still looking very likely to go ahead as planned. But of course, like we said, things can change in a small matter of time. Speaking of the virus, I'm sure you've probably seen the video yesterday along with the King's Dominion news update. Uh, but the other video we uploaded as well as the King's Dominion news update was of course the announcement on April 7th that I... Coast Chat are going to be streaming right here on YouTube, live streaming, answering your questions, answering your Q&A questions if we get to 1,500 subscribers before April 7th, so please do that. Uh, but yes, April the 7th, I'll be live streaming here on YouTube for a couple of hours, uh, for a few hours in fact, uh, basically giving you guys some entertainment, answering your questions that you might have. Um, and basically, this is all in aid to raise money for three charities that are helping fighting the coronavirus. So um, it's part of a, a larger connection. It's part of Jacksepticeye's fundraiser with Tiltify. Uh, I do have a campaign donation page now. You can donate in the description down below this video. So all the videos leading up to uh, the live stream and all videos right up until the start of May will have the donation page in the description down below. The goal is to reach $1,000 donated and all every single penny of those $1,000 will be donated to the three charities to help fight the coronavirus. So please donate in the description down below. The Tiltify page is in there in the description down below. So please donate. Please, please, please donate. You can visit the three websites as well for the charities in the description down below as well. But for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this theme park Halloween update. My name is Coach Shell YouTube channel. Please like, comment, subscribe. Keep it on the Coast Live, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome day.